Okay, so this is the chicken I'm going to be using. I'm going to showcase to you guys how I'm going to be making it. The recipe, I add some sea salt. So after the sea salt, I had to leave it to dissolve a bit. Then I added my onion. So I make sure that I added enough onion because I'm not going to be adding water into this chicken so i want all the old ingredients to steam in inside so then i i added my um seasoning i'm using my ghee cube this is my ghee cube here so from there and i added my um black pepper cameroon pepper actually this pepper was bought from nigeria markets it's a very strong and hot pepper then i added my thyme from this time and i added uh, my curry my curry flavor so because i'm not gonna be adding water into this chicken i wanted to fry it in a way by it to be so strong so i needed the every ingredient to enter inside the chicken very well so then i added my um, grounded pepper the red pepper i make sure i added enough pepper because people that are going to eat this food are men yes because we had some kind of little celebration so we're expecting visitors in our house so i had to make this so then i'm actually stirring together making sure the whole thing entered inside the chicken so i just needed to ensure that everything is steamed together but i stayed 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 ensure that most I, 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 I saw what i wanted what i needed so after this whole steaming so this is the vegetable i'm gonna be using to decorate the chicken by the time i am done with it it has not yet because i'm just showcasing it to you guys it is cucumber garbage carrot and all that so this is the chicken on fire without me adding any water in it so i want it to make sure that it's steamed together i'm the adding water this chicken the water you're seeing in there is the water that it's produced by itself while on fire there and there was no water i added in it so this is still it i think i added some little water here to give it a point there this is the flour i'm gonna be using i can actually see corn flour so i was using fari for this so i need to mix up some kind of ingredient inside the flour to make sure that everything went to so i just mixed some black pepper added some seasoning and then i added, I think I added some salt in it because this is what i'm gonna be adding the chicken with i'm gonna be using it to turn the chicken so i added some black uh, some red pepper grounded red pepper in it so after then i'm gonna be stirring together yeah i make sure i added enough pepper inside it because the people that are eating going to eat this thing gonna be drinking they're gonna be drinking and they'll be drinking a lot so i want everything to to be so spicy so i stirred the flowers together so that whenever if i'm putting the chicken inside there will be no need for me to come and start saying this is an empty pot so this empty pot is where i'm gonna be frying the chicken with so this is the oil this oil is small but later on i added another oil inside so it will enable me to fry as much as i wanted i will not be adding too much in one layer so it's just bit by bit so then um, i took one of the chicken which i ready to so this is how i'm gonna be doing it i had to turn yes turn the flowers i'll be making sure that i i i i, I laid the flour enough on the chicken feathers to ensure that it dries so when it's it's it, when it finished frying it's gonna give me that crumb the crumb that i wanted and he he gets just right you will see the the outcome of this of this chicken so this is the first one i wanted to just do this thing one after the other to to i'll put them in one place so because i don't want to be putting it in the fire then i will not come and start redoing it again so it will take a lot of my time so before i start frying because the oil is on fire already trying to be fair because the oil needs to be very hot so that it will not make the chicken look so sleepy it's gonna crump yeah you have to use guys you'll be very happy to see this this recipe so this is the the oil is still on fire i had i had to put the, an onion to see the the reaction of it to be sure that yes i've gotten to the way i want it to be very hot you see now nah, i'm not putting the chicken you see how it went there exactly so this way it will enable the 
chicken to be so dried quickly and give me the result that I wanted. So this is it now. This is the first side. So I'm going to be turning it to the other side. And this was the end result. Look at that. Just look at that. Just look at this chicken. Yeah. Hey, imagine. <laughs> I'm your cooking person in case you want me to cook. So this is the second one that I'm actually putting a look at how it came out again. Just look at that. Can you imagine? Hmm. So this is the mayonnaise I'm going to be using. And this is the final result of this food. Like chicken, garbage, cucumber, carrot, and mayonnaise. So the people that were eating this food, like if you're eating and drinking it, but uh, uh,